now the type of schools in switzerland if you want to migrate to switzerland know that there are four different types of schools in switzerland the first category we are going to be talking about are the federal universities the second category you need Hello, beautiful people welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today so guys if you are thinking of moving to europe and there is this very rich country in Europe which is not a member of the European Union. Is it not a member of the Schengen or not the European Union? Anyways, that is not why I am here. Verify the details, all right? The country I'm talking about, it's Switzerland. And I know Switzerland has its own uh, members. They are, I think it's Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, and another country. There are many of them in that their own group okay but why i'm here today is because there is good news i want to share some information to you in case you didn't know switzerland has one of the best like the best affordable tuition fee around the world now i am going to explain this to you very well so you understand why i want to focus on switzerland you are going to find a couple of videos from me about switzerland so please if you take anything from me here yeah, make sure you do your own research then you do the application immediately switzerland is a very private country yes if you don't know why what i mean by private country um i want to draw your attention to the fact that if you don't know switzerland is very quiet and they don't like spreading their info i am checking my jota because this is where i always put my information switzerland is a landlocked country all right with neighbors like austria to one side and to the other side italy and france to the other side and germany to the other side and really vouch for poland but all these countries surrounding uh, switzerland that is to let you know that the language in switzerland is not just going to be english now i will talk about the documents you can use to study in switzerland that's document point number one i will talk about the type of schools you can find in switzerland point number two i will talk about the application period in switzerland point number three then i will talk about the application procedures and i will also talk about the fees in this particular video then in another video i will talk about scholarships and i will bring forth a list of some of the universities so make sure if you watch this one you try to watch the other video to the end so that it can help you i have talked about the introduction about uh, switzerland now let's take a look at the documents that you can use to study in switzerland or apply for swiss universities or colleges if you want to study in switzerland let me tell you that it doesn't matter if you want to study a master's program you would also need to submit your high school documents and of course the transcript if you intend to apply to switzerland i will encourage you to go to your school and collect the transcript for those of you who want to study make sure you watch this video to the end so you understand what i will say the name of some of the schools and equally how much you are going to be paying so that you make a decision now because some applications are open now now if you want to study a bachelor's program in switzerland which definitely might be in the german language or in english depending on the school in which you are you have to understand that application is uh, somehow competitive and late application will cost you an extra application fee. However, you need your secondary school certificates and you equally need your secondary school transcripts. That's your O levels, A levels, YX certificate, baccalaureate and uh, all the transcripts. You need them. Then also, if you want to apply for masters, you need your BSc transcript certificate and those your bachelor's degree certificates and uh, and sorry those your high school certificate and the transcript as well if you want to apply for masters you still need them okay do not omit them during your visa application this is for your own good i'm just giving you advice then you equally need your cv a copy of your cv and you will need a copy of a motivation letter why you want to apply to switzerland and why the program and the school you would equally need to show a recommendation letter from probably your professors or somebody that knows you personally and in some programs i think um, is it engineering and some teaching programs you might need to submit a portfolio all right you might need a portfolio to prove to them you already know what a portfolio is if you do not know please drop it below so that we can 
talk about it i can explain to you or somebody else in the comment section if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me guys please book from the video description box so that i can call you and we talk further again in some cases i think when it comes to medical courses you may be required to write an entrance exam yes it depends also on the school and the program you are applying to entrance exam is not for everybody okay i'm just trying to tell you that you may need an entrance exam especially for those of you who want to go for medical courses an entrance exam may be required now the type of schools in switzerland if you want to migrate to switzerland know that there are four different types of schools in switzerland the first category we are going to be talking about are the federal universities the second category you need to know are the cantonal universities the third categories of schools or universities in switzerland are universities of applied sciences and the fourth category of schools in switzerland are the teachers education universities now it is now your duty to do your due diligence to know which universities are the teachers education which are applied sciences which are cantonal and which are the federal universities well in switzerland there are two federal universities one in zurich which is eth zurich and another one is in lugano what's the name again i will bring it in another video then in same switzerland we have 10 cantonal universities and i will be bringing the list in another video so make sure you watch till the end all right now if you are looking at suites as well there are a list of applied science universities and they carry the acronym uas those that are federal and cantonal at the same time carry uni and those that are teachers education universities they are ute okay now we have talked about the universities in switzerland now let's take a look at the application period this is what you need and it is very very important all these four types of universities i just mentioned to you here they do not have the same application period it might be closer somehow closer to each other but not the same now let's take a look at the federal universities remember i told you there are two of them 10 cantonal universities i have not verified how many in total do we have for the applied science universities and the teacher education universities but i'm going to bring the video very soon it at zurich or let me say the federal universities their application period is usually around the first of november and it closes around 15 december so as a matter of fact as i'm talking to you right now you are watching this video go immediately and check the two federal universities in switzerland because they are open now and accepting applications for international students one is eth zurich go immediately and apply yes milton said so go and apply then the other category the cantonal universities their application sometimes usually starts from january 1st to around february 28 that's approximately one month appro around two months one month but for the others it's just one month for the federal universities okay then for applied science universities and the other universities you can have applications around the first of january to it goes sometimes to like april the end of april but remember if you do not apply within the period of application late application will incur another application fee i hope you understand now let's take a look at the application procedure before we come to the fees application procedure if you want to apply for schools in switzerland after checking the program you need then all you need to do is to go to the school website create an account then application is done online online after creating the application and filling all your details the next step for you to do is to upload all those certificates i mentioned at the beginning remember i mentioned a, a list of certificates that you need to submit for your uh, application to schools in switzerland you can now submit all those applications pdf copies online you will upload them then after uploading them you will have to pay your application fee and on average if you look at the swiss universities on average they charge a hundred swiss franc for application fee which is almost equivalent to 100 euros or 100 dollars us dollars yeah it's almost the same 
yeah the exchange rate is not that different that's just to tell you that swiss currency is very powerful as well uh, likewise the others so this is what you need to know about the application procedure then you would wait for some months to get feedback from your school now let's take a look at the fees the fees that you need to pay in case you want to apply for swiss university it's better if you know how much tuition fee you are going to be paying like i said on my facebook page page milton funkwas consulting that's my page or oh, the other one milton funkwa schools in switzerland are very affordable the only problem you may have is the proof of funds which i already have a video on it check the videos before this one you are going to find videos on switzerland proof of funds okay but on average you are going to pay around 850 swiss franc for all universities that are federal all right federal universities will charge you like 850 swiss franc per semester this is not per year per semester that's approximately 850 us dollars then cantonal universities will charge you around 1300 swiss franc which is like 1300 us dollars so you have to put this into consideration and applied science universities will charge you per semester 1000 approximately 1250 some programs may go a little above some may go below but approximately you should be spending 1250 swiss franc which is equivalent to euros and 1250 usd as well to study at applied science universities in switzerland now when you get admissions that is when you apply for the visa right the embassy is in yaoundé as well for cameroonians and in nigeria they equally have it in most countries they have the embassy of switzerland which you can apply for your visa so make sure you go through the application and remember the visa you are applying for is not the, uh, the the tourist visa or not the any short stay visa you are going to be applying for something that can permit you go with a residence permit in other videos i'm going to elaborate more but now if you watch this video make sure you watch the other episodes that will come after this because i'm going to be dropping videos detailing some details again on how to get scholarships in switzerland i hope this video helps you till we meet again in another one Bye.